Hey guys, how's it going? So some pretty good news. It looks like we got the next uh, April minor release uh, for the Cubic Epoch change today, uh, Epoch 129. However, uh, this new client supports dual ore and cubic mining. So when cubic goes idle, uh, the miner is going to switch on over to ore. Um, I just am now testing this and it's working pretty good so far on HiveOS and I also have it working in Windows. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and just walk you guys through how to use this real quick, get it set up if you're not already running it. Um, yeah, here's what it looks like when it fires up. Um, and it does look like hash rates for CPUs got slashed a little bit this epoch. Um, anyway, I will leave a link in the um, video description below for the Apool Miner GitHub where you can grab uh, the different versions that we're going to use. So I'm going to do HiveOS first. Um, you're going to want to copy this link right here, this uh, HiveOS Dual uh, version 2.3.0, and that's what you're going to use to set up your flight sheet. If you have your flight sheet set up already because you've been mining this, um, all you're really going to need to do is just copy and paste the new link in here. Uh, the one that you know I just showed you there that's that's what you're gonna um, copy and paste in this Hive OS dual right here um, and then update your flight sheet with that now the important changes are going to occur in this extra config um, and you will be able to get those from this link that I will leave the April get book I'll leave this link in the video description however um, I don't think these screenshots are updated so make sure that you're pulling from down here and that your flight sheet looks similar to mine. You know, obviously your NV tools, your overclocks, this is me running uh, 3060 TIs, but this is the important part here. So these are um, shown down here. So these are basically the uh, changes that you're going to make its pool and then this pool slave flag for or, and then uh, capital A, um, it's definitely case sensitive cubic or and then worker name so these are gonna go these right here are gonna go in your extra config so in your flight sheet your hashing algorithm set to cubic you get your installation URL from the github here for Hive OS. you're gonna copy and paste the link for dual um, leave your regular pool URL right here that's fine then these extra config arguments do not follow exactly what it has shown and these screenshots look like they might be updated now now see this is the 2.2.2 we're on version 2.3.0 so just make sure you're on the right version this is i don't even think correct here either so just make sure your this flight sheet i'm using right now is working for me and i am dual mining in hive os so um, i'll leave both these links you can copy and paste these in here that is how you're going to get your flight sheet up and running um, and uh, here is a couple of them. I have about three rigs I just threw on there right now. And it does switch over, it's pretty cool. So right now this rig is currently on ore um, and I can see them all pool size showing up. At first it takes a little bit, you're mining cubic and then once it goes idle it switches over to ore. So just keep that in mind and give it a second for everything to show up and for the hash rate to get there. So this is while mining ore, um, I already was mining cubic so I know that works. So everything's working pretty good. That's how you get your flight sheet set up in Hive OS to dual mine uh, cubic and ore. We're gonna all have to play with the overclocks and get them dialed in the way we like. Um, next I'll show you guys how to get it set up for Windows. Alright guys, so in order to mine this in Windows, you're going to use the same GitHub page here uh, that's linked in the video description below. This time you're going to download the Apple Windows version 2.3.0. Um, once you get that downloaded, um, you're going to uh, you know unzip it, click into it. Then uh, you're going to want to edit the bat file for uh, start all, all meaning both CPU and GPU, uh, cubic and or. You're just going to if you're in Windows, I'm in Windows 11, right click, edit in Notepad. I already have it open, um, and then you are going to edit your bat file. Now there is uh, in the Git book, you know the Windows dual or mining uh, walkthrough. I don't know if this is like 100% updated, but this is where you're going to grab your pool address and uh, copy and paste this. Once you're logged into your pool, obviously this is where it'll be once you're logged in um, and copy and paste your account address here. Um, and then 
it's essentially the same. You just are adding these extra flags for uh, on top of regular pool, the cubic pool, you're also doing a pool slave for or. And then this capital A algo cubic underscore or. Uh, and then you run the miner and it seems to be working pretty good so far. Um, it's idle on cubic and currently mining or um, I see it pool side. Um, here, let me bring this over here. I'll show you guys. Um, this is <laughs> I'm mining on the CPU and GPU right now, so things are a little slow. Um, but the, yeah, this is my Windows setup, and then I have the other ones, you know, my other rigs in HiveOS. Um, everything's showing up here and mining um, ore. Uh, so pretty cool. You know, no longer are we going to be sitting idle during Cubic and doing nothing. We will be mining ore with that time. So. Um, that's how you get it set up in Windows. Uh, pretty simple. You just edit your bat here. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments or hop on a Discord and ping me if you need my help. Um, and I also hang out in the April Discord too sometimes, you know. And uh, so, yeah, good luck and happy mining, everybody.